Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Thankamani, an Integration Technical Architect. In this short video, we are going to see uh, how we can pass a JSON payload to an API with uh, GET method. So normally we know uh, uh, for sure that uh, GET method cannot accept a payload because it's just a URL. So GET method is normally designed to uh, do uh, the working or to do its functionalities by by simple click. So whenever the UI uh, requires something to be clicked on and uh, behind the scene uh, the API has to be invoked, then we design the API with uh, get method and uh, normally parameters are passed in uh, via uh, URI parameters uh, by for example employee ID or employee name can be passed in as a resource path itself. But sometimes uh, uh, you can't uh, avoid uh, 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 passing in some excessive parameters. So in such situation, you can use this technique which we are going to see. And still you will be able to pass in the JSON payload uh, to the API with the uh, get method. Let's get started. Here is a simple Mule 4 application with the HTTP listener and the data weave. And the data weave uh, contains a simple uh, result called a success. And uh, in this uh, HTTP uh, listener, we enforced uh, uh, get method. So we will not be able to pass in payload directly. So let's run this. It's already started. And uh, the resource path is uh, get employee one. And let's see what's the result. So uh, you are running this get employee one with a get method here and there is no uh, payload and then the result we received as success. So this is working as expected. So in a rare scenario, you might need uh, some additional details from the uh, upstream systems where they need to pass in some additional data for us to uh, process. So recently uh, we have been in this uh, situation where uh, we needed to upload the uh, uh, attachments into the uh, method. I mean, although it's post, you will not be able to give a, a JSON payload because uh, you will be attaching the, uh, for example, here, if you go to the post and you will still be uh, providing multi-part form data in terms of attachment, then you might not be able to provide the payload uh, in terms of uh, JSON. So uh, yeah, there are some re uh, strange situations where uh, you will be required to give the payload, but still it will be either get method or it will be uh, um, it will be a multi-part form data uh, post method. So in this situation, you can design uh, this technique where we will be passing in the data uh, via header. Let's see how it uh, works. So assume that I'm going to pass in some additional details about the customer or employee where uh, their home address as well as office address need to be uh, given for some reasons. So what we can do is uh, you can copy this and there is a way uh, to convert it into uh, base64 encoded format. So let's uh, go and see how to convert that into base64. So you can use any uh, online tool or uh, from the source system for any language. It could be uh, Java, .NET or PHP or in any language, uh, you will have a facility to convert that into base64. So that's what we are going to do. So. We are going to have this JSON payload uh, converted into UTF uh, encoded format and uh, we will copy this and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to make uh, this uh, data, um, sorry it should be get method and uh, we are going to give, uh, what is this, so we are going to include this header, say header is uh, address and we'll copy this uh, base64 encoded format and we are giving header. So we are passing this uh, uh, address um, into the header in the form of base64 encoding. So uh, what we have to do inside uh, Mule 4 is to receive this uh, address and then decode it back to its original form and then you can use it. So now we, are, we will also need to see how to encode and decode it uh, within the uh, mule 4 application let's see that first let's see if it works so now uh, this address would have been passed into this uh, mule application let's go there and uh, let's set this variable and uh, 
this variable say address and we will receive it so how do we read it so we need to read it from attributes uh, let's convert it into function and uh, let's say attributes dot uh, um, headers dot address so this will fetch address from the headers and let's see how it works and uh, let's see, use this address in the result and uh, we will say address where's dot address so now let's see how this address looks like it should uh, uh, return the same data that we pass in via header let's work it out now you see it's the same data that's passed in so now you can uh, process this after decoding it into its original form now let's go back and see how to decode this string into its uh, original form which is an actual json so let's go here and i have included uh, um, binaries module of data b uh, which is uh, helpful to decode so uh, in order to decode you need to use from base 64 to base 64 is used to encode and from base 64 is used to decode it back so let's give that let's save it and don't worry about this error uh, it, it it happens but actually it's not an error so now let's see now you can see uh, some data meaningfully appearing here because uh, it's decoded but it's decoded as a string but uh, as we have seen in one of the previous videos uh, you need to treat it as a json as a binary but not as a string because it contains uh, encoded uh, data and uh, so in order to do that uh, we have already seen we need to use uh, read function and which treats uh, uh, string as an application json or whatever format you want to convert it into and this should do the trick of converting back to its binary form so let's save this let's restart it let's see how this works now it's bringing back to its original form so this technique you can use i mean we have we have seen uh, quite a few techniques in this uh, video number one we have seen how to pass in the payload uh, while still the um, the method is get so the idea is to have the header field introduced where the data complex data is simply uh, converted into encoded string so that uh, there is no error so it's a one uh, stretch of string which is easy to send so uh, whichever the application that's uh, sending this uh, will be able to do it uh, uh, irrespective of its uh, technology whether it is java uh, j2e or uh, .NET or php all uh, applications have this feature so you will be able to send it so uh, we have seen uh, how to uh, encode it and decode it uh, by using MuleSoft, by using uh, core binaries module under data v and you can use from 64 uh, to uh, decode it to base 64 in order to encode it so these use cases will come in uh, in any requirements at any time so i thought i can share with you so that it will come handy uh, during your requirements so that's it in this short video. I hope you liked it and hope this uh, use case will come handy for your uh, development purposes. If you liked it, please hit thumbs up button and subscribe my videos. Soon I will come up with more interesting topics. Thanks for watching. Bye.